Now before we go ahead and create our next work section, I would want to cover a jQuery Lightbox plugin, Magnific Popup. So the first thing that we want to do is actually create a new file, just so it's not messing up with our work, the one that we have done so far. So new bootstrap template, right? And over here, we're going to create save as, and we're going to say that this is going to be Magnific HTML, right? Now that we have created a file, you can see that right away, because it is a new bootstrap template, it has uh, over here this template, right? With the nav bar and container. So we're just going to delete that. And then we go back to our good old friend Google. And you can see Magnific pop-up responsive jQuery Lightbox plugin, right? So we just click it over here. And over here we go first to documentation, right? Or we can download it first. You know what? We can just right away download and then I'm just going to show you. So over here you can see a clone or download. So we just go download zip, right? And over here it's obviously going to be in our downloads. Now we don't care about uh, too much right now because we want to do all the setups, right? So over here we go back to uh, the documentation, right over here, and they're telling us what kind of files we would need, right? So we need a Magnific Popup CSS and Magnific Popup JS, right? So what do we need to do? Over here, I'm just going to copy this. Over here, like this copy and I'm going to say that I would want to do it in text editor so I'm going to go over here somewhere in the head and I'm just going to copy this this is going to be the CSS file over here like this and over here we're just going to copy the JavaScript right so this is going to be a script and we're going to copy this one and somewhere over here we're going to say that we're copying somewhere in the bottom of the body right so this is going to be a magnific pop-up JS file, right? And over here you can see that it didn't copy it quite well. So now it's fine, right? So now we're uh, ready to actually see what we would need to do, right? So over here they're saying us that this should be our in initial thing that we write in a jQuery, right? But obviously for that we would need to create a JavaScript file. So we would need to create a JavaScript file, but obviously uh, in a way, we also right away need to get the files that we need, right? So we need a CSS and a JavaScript, right? Pop-up uh, pop Magnific, pop-up JS, right? So right now I would go to my downloads, right? Where they at, right? So we have a downloads. And you can see that I have already downloaded it twice, but this would be the folder that we're looking for, right? So we can just minim make this one maybe a little bit smaller and minimize this, right? So if we go over here, within a, sorry, this is my first download. So obviously I would need to open the new one over here. And this would be magnific pop-up. And you can see over here in the distribution, right? This will be where our files are located, right? So I'm just gonna drag the JS and CSS, right? First of all, to my bootstrap uh, folder, right? Just drag them over here. We can close this one for now. And over here, you can see that I have pop-up CSS and pop-up JS, right? But the uh, smart way would be placing the JS file right away in my JavaScript folder over here and my CSS in a CSS folder, right? So all the way all on the top over here, right? So now that we've done that, we can go back over here to brackets. And over here, we would obviously need to change where we have a address, right? So here I would write a CSS, right? So if we open up, say CSS, and we have magnific pop-up CSS, and over here for a, a JavaScript, we would need to do the same thing. The only in this case, this is gonna be JavaScript, right? So we open up, this is gonna be a not a magnific pop-up. Sorry about that, my bad. Or here we would just say a JavaScript, Right, and then we say magnific pop-up JS. And after that, since we know that we're gonna be creating a JavaScript file, I would go right away to JS, right? We're sitting in a JS, and I would create a new file. And I would say that this is gonna be magnific, or I don't know, magnific something JS, right? And what I would wanna do in my index HTML, right? And uh, I would need to create, not sorry, not uh, Magnific HTML, right? The other file that we created, 
we will need to create over here a script right and we're going to say that source and the source would be a js and over here it's going to be magnific js right so now we have a closed the script tags so now we're pretty much ready to go and copy this from the their web page what we would need to do right so and this is what they want us to do first right if we're working like this right they're saying what type of um ways should we use right there's a couple of ways how we can do it right and we're going to start with the most most basic one right so over here we're just going to copy this the first line that they're saying right and we're going to go back to magnific js and we're just going to paste it right and the key over here what you need to remember is that over here right whatever let's say if we're just going to cut this out right so this is actually right a most basic jQuery a, a command that's pretty much saying that all the code is going to be run only when the document is ready, right? Nothing else, nothing more, right? And after that, they're pretty much telling us, right, what kind of um, we're going to be selecting a class over here. And over here, they're, they're telling us that this is going to be an image, right? So what we would need to do over here, you can see that they're telling us, right? So we would want to have a link over here that's going to have, let's say, test pop-up link uh, over here class, right? So what we're going to do, we're going to copy this over here like this. And we're going to go back and we're going to go to Magnific HTML and somewhere in a body, we're just going to paste it, right? So now we have a link that has a class of test pop-up link. And here it says path to the image, right? So let's say over here we're going to delete this and we have a bunch of images in our images folder, right? So we go images and now let's say we're going to go to any image, right? So we're going to go to, let's say, human face collage or Trump JPEG, something like this, right? So we go to that image, so then we can save it. And now we are actually ready to go and see how the magnific pop-up would work. But before we do that, actually we're not ready, right? Because you can see this class over here for this link, right? But in our magnific JS, right, you can see that it's image link, right? So those would need to match. You can see over here that it's say, saying that I'm targeting this class, right? However, the class name is actually different. So over here, what we would need to do is in some some way, right, we would just need to copy this. So we go back to JS and over here, we'll just delete this. And over here, we're just going to paste this. And over here, you can see that I missed a quote mark over here. And I'll just put over here. And now it's all done, right? So if we save this, and if we go back over here to a magnific HTML, and we check it out, what we have, this is going to be our live preview. You can see that I have a link, right? It says up, open pop-up. So I click it over here. You can see that this is going to be my pop-up, right? So if I close it over here, eh, I'm leaving the pop-up, right? So this is the very, very basic way, right? So if we check it out again, what other options they have, you can see over here that it says that if we have a div of containers, right? Div of links, right? So let's try this one out. So I'm just going to copy this one over here, and we're going to paste it over here, right? And this is what we're going to be using for our... Uh, bootstrap template right we're going to have a not only one link over here we're going to actually have a parent container right and we're going to have multiple images in it right so over here what we right away can do we're just going to change these paths for these uh, links right so i'm going to hit here i'm going to say images and i'm going to say logos this is going to be logo here i'm going to delete this and i'm going to say this is going to be some different path right or here I'm going to say this is going to be images and this is going to be images and let's say this is going to be numbers this is going to be numbers background and here we're going to check it out what we have in images right we have a let's say quotes right so this is going to be human collage right something something like that so now we have three uh, images we have created three paths to the images right with a link so over here and what we would need to do is we would need to save this over here and let's 
go and check it out what type of documentation we would need right so here you can see that they're saying us that we would need to write a little bit differently right so we're just going to copy this one over here and we're going to go back to magnific js right and we can delete this this line of code right again this is going to be a typical jquery when the document is ready so we don't want to delete this but we're going to paste this new a uh, way new line of code right so we're just going to save this and we'll go magnific html and we see the class is parent container right and over here it also is a parent container right so everything matches so now we're ready to go and check it out how it looks like right so we go to html right and we just go again and we're going to say that this is going to be a, a new live preview that we want to see right and we can just close the old one out and we're waiting when it's uh, loading right and over here it says open pop of one one two three now remember the first one is not going to be working because we actually deleted it right we could have created two of them and we're going to do that in a bootstrap uh, theme but over here we're just going to save the new one right so this is going to be banana marketing this is going to be a uh, another image right the background image and over here we're going to see a human collage right now what i want to show you is that obviously we can actually create a two of them right we can leave the first one intact and then have the second one right so if we go back to their documentation and let's just check it out one more time what was the documentation over here that if we just say a type image right so if we go back over here and then we're going to go back to our folder and magnific pop-up right and over here we're just going to leave a comment this is going to be i don't know for multiple links right multiple links or you know what let's just make a single line code right and it's going to be multiple links over here and here we're just going to paste this and we're going to say that this is going to be a single link right so i'm just going to paste this over here and we're going to say that this is going to be a uh, what's the name of it right this is going to be a test pop-up link all right so now we have two of them all right so magnific js and over here i'm just going to paste this all right and i'm just going to leave out a over here this um document ready function right and let's just check it out whether i have it right right this pop-up link and over here it also does pop up link, right? So they do match. So if we go back to our uh, live preview, right? This should work also, right? Now, the last thing that I want to show you how we can get a gallery, right? So if we have, let's say, these images, right? I would want to create a gallery, right? Because that would look a little bit nicer, right? So what we would need to do is, again, we will need to go back to their... Uh, documentation and over here you can see a gallery right and the only thing you need to do over here is gallery right enabled true right so we're just going to copy this and we're just going to go back to our file and obviously it makes sense where we have multiple links right then over here we're just going to delete this we're just going to make a comma and we're going to pass right and now when it's uh, pasted or here if we save it and when we go back to our live preview over here and refresh so now we have a gallery right you can see these ones right so then we can just pretty much uh, scroll through all of them by using the gallery right and also the first one is working also right because now we have two uh, two pretty much separate I wouldn't say two lines of code, right? Two uh, blocks of code, right? First one is targeting multiple links over here, and this one is targeting a single link over here. Now, if you're going to be watching the Bootstrap theme video later on, you're going to see that we're going to be doing a little bit differently. This pretty much covers the basic magnific pop-up, right? So now we're ready to go and actually build a work uh, work section in our bootstrap video uh, theme.
Bye.